me today is Kwesi Hansels, who is one of HCPA's outstanding sportsmen. Kwesi, can you give us a rundown of what 2005-2006 sports season was like for you? Well, the season was very good. I mean, we didn't have many wins. We had one win in the preseason and one win in the off season, in the regular season. But the season all in all was good. Practice, it was hard at times, though. It was enjoyable throughout the whole season, and it really prepared us for games. So the season was good. It sounds like this was a very exciting season. Although you guys didn't win too many games, I can tell you guys had fun and enjoyed it. Now with me is Cheyenne Owens, who is another of HCPH's outstanding athlete. Cheyenne, can you give us a little rundown of the sports season for you this year? Um, the season was pretty good. Um, even though initially a lot of the girls were discouraged because of the 6.30 a.m. practices, it was very much worth it. We got into a lot of shape. We um, had lots of endurance, and it felt so much better by the middle of the season. And we had um, a lot of camaraderie and sportsmanship between the players. We had a lot of fun. Um, the varsity won a few games. JV was 7-2 and two this year, which is a great improvement over last year. And by the end of the season, a lot of girls who weren't able to participate really wanted to, so that has a lot of inspiration for next year. So I'm really looking forward to it. Thanks for sharing that with us. Sounds like the girls had a really exciting season. Yes, we did. Well, there you have it. These are what the extracurricular activities are at Harvard Teacher Preparation Academy. I am Valerie Garcia reporting live from the dance room. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Valerie. In addition to those extracurricular activities, each year, the Parent-Teacher Student Association holds an annual event called Spring Fling. The Spring Fling is held on Friday before the start of spring break. At this event, the proud parents of PTSA put together fun activities and make food for the students to enjoy. The purpose of the Spring Fling is to give the students a chance to unwind from any stress or fatigue that they may be subject to due to an overwhelming amount of schoolwork. At the Spring Fling, we have Roberto Scott He's going to show the viewers exactly what the Spring Fling is about. Good afternoon, my name is Roberto Scott and I'm here reporting live at Harbor Teacher Preparation Academy. Today is April 7, 2006 and we're here live at the Spring Fling. The Spring Fling event is an annual event that the PTSA puts on for the students. It's to acknowledge all the hard work that the students have accomplished from September all the way up to now. We're here with Sashay Quilden. Yes, and how long have you been attending this school? I've been here for the whole four years. And how do you feel about the PTSA putting on this event for the students? Well, it's an annual thing, and um, I really appreciate it because, you know, we work so hard during the year. And it's the time that every springtime that we get together and we actually have time to come out and enjoy one another, have free food, and actually, like, um, appreciate PTSA for helping us out. Like, they, they help us throughout the year, and this is, a, like, a thing to give back to us. Um, I feel that it's a really great chance for all of us, you know, just to hang out and get to know each other better. And out of the four years that I've been he here on top of the high school classes and the college classes, this is a great way to re relieve the stress that we build up. Now we're here with a few of the parents of the PTSA who has put this event on for the school. And we're going to ask them a few questions now. How long have you guys been a part of the PTSA? I've been a member of the PTSA for about a year. Um, the reason why I am a member of the PTSA and participating is because um, I know the school needs help and I love my ch son and the children that attend here. I've been a member of the PTSA all four years um, and I find that it's very important that there is participation from the parents to help the school. It takes both the parents and the teachers working together to make the school work and to make your child successful so that's why I volunteer my time. I've been a member for two years, my son's in second year, and I volunteer because I feel my son's very fortunate to come here to the school and have a great opportunity for education, and I've met a great lot of parents and students that helped me learn more about the program as well. We're here now with a group of freshmen who are enjoying their meal from what it looks like. Um, can we ask you guys a few questions? How do you guys feel about this event? You guys having fun? Yeah! Um, how do you feel about this event that's going on? Uh, it's, it's really fun. It's great that they can put this all out for us, for PTSA, and I'm having fun. Yeah, this is fun. There's a lot of food, as you can see, and everyone's involved in everything. Um, it's really cool that we can have something like this going on, because some may think because we're a small school, we don't have activities like this, and we're pretty boring, but 
it's more than that. It's more than just work. We can also have fun at the same time. We're here with Miss Carter. And how do you feel about this event that the PTSA has put on today? No, it's very strenuous, but I'm hoping to lose about five pounds. As you can see, the Spring Flink has been a very successful event. And it's time to go back to the studio and for me to have some fun. That spring fling looks like a lot of fun. Back when I was in school, the only thing they do was give us homework and tell us to have an ice cream break. I wish I could have attended ACPA. Anyways, on another note, the students at Highway Teacher Prep have asked us to dedicate a special thank you segment to their secretary, Ms. Pat Dean. Let's take a look at all of her contributions. Ms. Patricia Dean has been a secretary at Harbor Teacher Preparation Academy since its grand opening in September 2002. Her assistance throughout the school years has greatly contributed to the success of the school. Ms. Dean is a very dedicated and caring person who does not look at her job as only a job, but also as an experience that she is happy to be a part of. She cares a lot about the students and outside of her job, she provides assistance wherever it is needed. Ms. Dean is someone that everybody can count on, whether it is help in the office or for a friendly conversation. Her job is never ending, for you will always see Ms. Dean in the midst of paperwork. Although her job is very stressful, she never fails to put on a smile and engage in friendly conversations with the students and faculty. This is why the students at Harvard Teacher Preparation Academy want to recognize Ms. Dean and thank her for her hard work and dedication. Ms. Dean is like a mom to us because Everything that goes on, she knows about. She knows everybody's name, everybody's nickname, what they've been through, you know. We all know her on like an individual basis. I remember one time when I had broke my arm, and she put some carrots on my arm, and it made it, she made it feel better. Um, yep. I love you, Miss Dean, because like, you've helped us and you've been with us since like the beginning of school. And you got, like, we were so small. We had, like, how many buckaloes we had? We had, like, three buckaloes. <laughs> and you were there in the, in the little office, and you used to do all of our records and stuff. And basically, you were there with us since the beginning. And you've been through a lot. And I just want to say thank you for helping us and helping us as the first class. And love you, Missing. No matter how much we put you through as students, it's like you still treat us like your own children. You love us and respect our business whenever we talk to you. And it's like we've watched you just work so hard with us. And it seems like you've go you're have you going down, but you are still struggling to be here we with us. We love you. We love you so much, Ms. Dean. Strong woman. We're going to miss you when we graduate. And you have prepared us for the future and taught us that we should respect everyone and organize ourselves very well to be prepared for the outside world. Thank you, Woo! Ms. Dean. We love you, Ms. Dean. Well, that's all we have for you today. We hope you enjoyed our special episode dedicated to HTPA. We'll see you next time on another edition of E True Stories, where the E stands for education. I first heard about this school from a letter I received in the mail, and it was called Harbor Teacher Preparation Academy, and it was aiming us to become a teacher, but you don't necessarily have to be. But that's what I want to be when I grow up, so. I got accepted and I came here and I love it. This school has done a lot for me because a lot of people where I come from don't really graduate from high school and they don't really achieve anything and since I came to this school um, I have a lot of opportunities to become what I want to be so this school has done a lot for me and it brought the good out of me. The school has been really cool. It um, taught me a lot about life and um, it kind of helped me prove some people wrong as of where I stand in academic wise and I'm glad to be ahead of most of the people I know. Um, I really like this school because um, it allows me to challenge myself with a lot of things and um, get a really good head start with college and um, at this school like just because I'm younger um, I don't really get treated differently I mean everybody here